I'm doing another colorful look for you guys. Um, we have some pink, some yellow, some orange, some reds, you name it. We got all of it. So yeah, guys, this is going to be a talk over video so we can go ahead and get right into the video. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can be notified every time I do post. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching. Let's go right into the video. Okay guys, so we're going to go in with some eye primer. This is from Urban Decay and this is in the color Eden. I definitely recommend for you guys to use an eye primer. I always use an eye primer. This is just going to help your shadows stick better. It's going to pick up the pigment way better versus if you were just to use it on your natural eyelid. And this one's one of my favorites. I also have heard that the P. Louise is really good too, but for now we'll just be using Urban Decay. favorite colorful palette and if you're looking to play with some color I would definitely recommend for you guys to go to the store and pick this up okay guys so we're gonna be taking this yellow shade and we're just gonna be patting this right in the beginning of our lid we're not taking it all the way across we're just keeping it right in the front you just want to do it a couple inches because we're gonna be transitioning a bunch of colors this is gonna be a super colorful look so you just want to keep on patting and patting now you just want to keep on patting and you guys don't worry about this getting messy we're all gonna blend it together in the end just wait till the final look um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the other eyelid and you know just begin and don't worry about it getting messy guys that's all I have to tell you it's okay it's gonna look super weird but in the end it's gonna look super pretty So now we're going to go ahead and take this pink shade and we're going to be placing this right in back of the yellow. You kind of want to think like you're kind of making straight lines and you're just taking it. I'm not taking all the way to the upper crease. I'm just kind of keeping it there where the yellow hits. I'm taking a fluffy brush just to kind of blend it out, but you don't want to worry too much about blending. We'll blend all in the end later. And yes, it looks crazy, but like I said guys, just trust the process. darker orange and we're going to be placing this on the outer crease and this color is just going to hit all of the colors we're just going to blend this color very smoothly onto the rest so now guys i'm going in with a white liquid eyeliner this one is by atalia you can use any white liner that you would like and I'm going to be winging it and this liner is just going to put the whole look together you know because we got all these bright colors going on and then we're just going to throw a hint of white on top it looks so pretty and it photographs so nicely and you just want to do a regular line and don't forget to wing it I feel like it, adding the wing definitely completes the look <laughs> Now I'm adding some lashes after this. I'm going to be adding some lashes from the store called Peach A Thousand and these lashes are called Call Me Mermaid and I'm Yours. I love Peach A Thousand lashes. I definitely recommend them. And now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Too Faced Hangover Primer Water and the Frankie Rose Primer. These two together are like my holy grail. They make my skin super smooth and help my makeup last all day. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This foundation is really smooth. It's really on the affordable side, which is why I love it. And it like comes out in videos and in photos very nicely. And I love it. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that on my whole face. two of my favorite concealers at the moment which is the NARS concealer and the elf concealer the NARS I believe I am in the shade ginger and the elf I'm not sure what I am but I will have it listed below as always everything will be in my description going in with the Laura Mercier translucent powder this is my favorite I'm just gonna set my whole entire face and my concealer now going in with the Too Faced Born This Way powder I'm gonna be setting my whole entire face making sure I don't get oily throughout the day now going in with my favorite bronzer at the moment I'm gonna be using by Kylie Cosmetics in the color Almond I'm obsessed with this bronzer the formula is just really good it's just super creamy it feels like butter and it just blends perfectly with my skin tone it just goes I love it if you're on the tan side I definitely recommend it now we're gonna go ahead and go in with the cream eyeliner I believe this one is from L'Oreal then I'm gonna go right back into that palette I'm gonna pick up some pink and put it on the outer then I'm gonna go ahead and grab the orange color and put it in the inner this is just going to put the look together and definitely give more vibrant to this whole entire look. I believe like adding more colors at the bottom definitely gives the look more of a powerful look. Can't forget the bottom. We definitely have to add some mascara to the bottom lashes. You know your girl loves some highlight. Anastasia Beverly Hills in Amorizi Highlight is my go-to. So I'm just packing that highlight right on top of my cheekbones. Now adding some lipstick, I'm going in with Pink Played by MAC. It's a really pretty pink color. It kind of reminds me like of a Barbie. And I also use Tommy Lip Liner by Jordana. look is complete guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and let me know what you want to see next and i hope you guys enjoyed this colorful look